Hey, this is Pastor Eason. Uh, you know me from Living Water Church of God. I'm your pastor. We are going to be moving uh, this Sunday, coming up, back to the parking lot. And it's not because the government says we can't have church. It's not because uh, fear or frustration or doubt. None of those things are factors in the decision. The pastor and his council discussed this at a meeting last Sunday. And we decided for the safety of our congregation that we would go back to the parking lot. Now, the reason we went to a 930 morning service is because of the heat. Back in the fall, 1030 worked great. It was just fine. But now that it's hotter and the asphalt, it's not actually the sun, it's the asphalt that heats up. So at 930, we should be relatively safe. Now, some folks say, well, my kids are going to have to sit in the car well, uh, if you want to bring your children, just bring them a chair to sit outside of the car uh, or maybe an umbrella or something from your house to give a little shade. So we're trying to be wise. Uh, as your pastor, I'm concerned about your health and your spirituality. So this is not a spiritual or any other kind of move that's, that I feel is, is less than. Uh, Jesus was confronted with this by the lady who came to the well that he met there. And she said that, uh, you know, we worship here in the mountains and you worship in Jerusalem. So where's the right place to worship? And Jesus uh, really helped her out a lot as he did me. He said, God is spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So if we're true worshipers, the location is not germane. It's not important. I mean, nobody's making us leave our building. Nobody's forcing us out. We're protected by the Constitution. So it is just wisdom. Well, I'll give you another reason that, that I made this decision. I, a friend of mine called me this week and uh, was sharing with me of six pastors that I know and their families and many members of their church have culvert. And these are folks who have been having church in the building. And it, it was a lot of people, in fact, uh, guys that are my age who are now fighting for their life uh, simply because I don't know what protocol they used or, or whatever that situation was, but I know that they're very sick. So to protect myself and, and you, uh, I'm feeling that this is what we need to do. And like I said, nobody's forcing us, nobody's making us. I just think it's wisdom. So come and bring your children. Uh, make provisions for them uh, so that they can enjoy their service as well. So God bless you. I'll see you at 930 Sunday morning.